Hello viewers, this is C. Justin Marshall, working as an assistant professor, PG Department of Computer Applications, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadalur. In this video, we are going to see about procedures in PLSQL. What is mean by procedure? A procedure is a named PLSQL block which contains a group of SQL and PLSQL statements within. So we can have SQL and PLSQL statements inside the procedure. A procedure is a type of subprograms that performs an action. A procedure can be written to perform some action. A procedure can be stored in the database as a schema object for repeated execution. Once if we create a procedure, it will be stored inside the database as a schema object once it has been stored we can be executed repeatedly whenever we need to execute and then it provides modularity reusability extensibility and maintainability so this is what the procedure means now in this slide we are going to see the syntax for creating procedures create or replace so it's given in square bracket it denotes that it's optional if you want to use replace we can use it otherwise we can leave it out but when we are using replace once the procedure is created with some errors then we can replace the same procedure with the same name with new code so that we are using the replace command create or replace we have to give the keyword procedure and followed by the name procedure name it's optional the option means uh, we can give our own name as a procedure name and then in parameter is optional parameter if you want to give pass parameter, we can give pass mark by parameter or we can leave it out. Parameters have to be used or uh, given by declaring a variable. So we would see in the example and then we have to use the keyword if or as and then the PLSQL block. The PLSQL block will contain the code to be executed so that we will be having the PLSQL block. Now in this slide we are going to see the example of creating one procedure. So as we seen in the last slide we have using create or replace procedure. I am giving the procedure name as PROC1 and I am passing one argument or we can also call it as parameter p underscore emp number number by using this p underscore emp number variable i am going to pass emp number and based on that i am going to select that particular details of that particular emp number so that's what i am going to write this procedure and then i am using if and I am declaring one new variable p underscore emp to store the details of that particular employee. So I am declaring p underscore emp referring, referring the emp table row type percentage row type. So it denotes it will have all the columns in that particular row. Next by giving begin we are going to start the executive statement and then select star into p underscore emp from emp where emp number is equal to p underscore emp number here what we are doing is we are selecting the all the columns and we are storing into p underscore emp variable of that particular employee number and once if you are storing into p underscore emp we are going to print by using the keyword dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and 
while we are printing we have to give that particular column name including that variable so here is an example p underscore emp dot emp number and then i am using the concatenation symbol again p underscore emp dot emp name and again i am concatenating likewise we can retrieve or we can display all the column which are present in the p underscore emp variable and finally by giving the end statement we are coming to the end of this procedure so this is one sample way of how to write the procedure then once if you are creating the procedure we have to execute that procedure to get the output so here we are going to see how to execute that particular procedure so we can use the keyword execute keyword and then we have to give the procedure name so execute proc1 that's the procedure name what we have created in the earlier slide and i am passing the parameter 102 so once i am passing 102 means i will be getting the details of the employee whose emp number is 102 once suppose if you are having the compilation errors in the procedure how to see the compilation errors in the procedure so we have to give show errors so we can, if you are, if you are giving so show errors it will display the errors which we execute previously or specifically we can give show errors that particular procedure name proc1 and then next we are going to see how to remove a procedure to remove a procedure we are going to give the command drop procedure procedure name once if you are giving drop procedure procedure name the procedure will get dropped thank you for viewing this video